What did you guys think about episode one of this series? I thought that episode one was pretty interesting, but not enough to act as like a huge hook to bring in a huge audience. And there's nothing glaringly wrong with it. It's just like there was nothing popping off happening, right? So immediately we're thrown into this world of like a native isekai land where we're a human, we're the strongest mage in the demon lord's army. The past demon lord was pretty bad, but the new one pretty good. And now we're trying to establish um, whatever happened a long time ago, because I think a long time ago there's probably some coexistence of like humans and demons then the past demon lord showed up and that was not the case and then uh, the new demon lord is more open-minded and stuff and we're basically just fixing shit up and trying to be like good people right so let's check out today's episode what's going on this is the one thing i hate about this anime they just make shit dark to hide the shitty CGI. They did this last episode as well. I can't see anything. Can you guys see anything? I can't see shit, bro. Imagine with the visual filters on YouTube as well. <laughs> CGI monster hitting back, I think. They just don't want to show the CGI. <laughs> I can't see shit. What is this bullshit, bro? Like, straight out. Like, you can't see anything. This is stupid. This is genuinely stupid. I would rather see the shitty, stupid CGI while being invisible in a lighter background rather than just being all dark. Cause like, let's get real. Like everyone knows what you're doing. You're trying to hide the shitty CGI. Like let's, let's not fucking lie to ourselves. At least show me the action. They show a little bit whenever the fire hits background. The strongest mage. Here's the strongest mage. And our cunny ass maid. <laughs> She's the only few that knows her secret too. White Rose Knight's commander, Alistair. Oh, it's her! Immediately. She's gonna be our opponent this, uh, today. Episode? Man, she's actually wearing full armor too. Not a bikini armor. Scam! Alright, let's see. Middle, middle, middle. Still middle. Left. Middle. Right. Right. Left. Le it's still left. Motherfucker cheated right here. He cheated right here. I don't see it's still on the left, but he's cheating right now. It should be on the left, but then he started smiling, so I don't know anymore. Uh, the classic answer is, well, he has no sleeves, actually. So the classic answer is none, and it's under his sleeves. He somehow swapped it out. I don't fucking know how he did it here. It should be on the left, though, if it didn't scan. <laughs> Maid's out here gambling. <laughs> oh, booba. Jesus. <laughs> Could you be more fucking obvious about this? Come on. Wow. Mm. Mm. <laughs> For like 10 seconds, just looking at the titty. What do you mean by that? He scammed. He doesn't have sleeves either, but he has bands. I'm assuming, yeah, there he is. He just looks like the most standard isekai protag, huh? I know this is an isekai show, but just like this face, this hairstyle, you know, it's it's him. Anyways, this is the guy without the mask, by the way, the strongest mage. She's cute though, the maid, huh? The coalition between humans? CGI Knights, baby, let's go. Coalition, yeah. Yeah. Three separate cases. Nope. Oh, 
I think the maid has Stockholm Syndrome and wants to stay with us, though. Is she gonna be a slave forever? Nothing like, uh... This is not an isekai, but nothing like, you know, native isekai and slaves. Always exists. That's right, she's very reasonable. You need to change that. Somehow unite everybody. Oh, you were- <laughs> Bro got fucked up. He got fucked up by the other people that he scammed. <laughs> but he brought a Baldi to fight us. Alright, let's see it. Yo, I love how, like, straightforward the mate is. <laughs> Flex of it. <laughs> what happened? Frozen legs already. What are you going to do about it? No. <laughs> no. Why, why we stopped? You just threatened to take our girl and like all our money. Like why, why would we stop? Are you stupid? Yes, you got to be stupid. Good. More. More. There it is. Coalition. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Now I know. All right, what is it? We're just talking about that. They want to take full credits. Gotcha. That's what's happening with that initial girl too, Alastair, I think. I'm kind of having a difficult time with all the different names of different groups and factions, but basically, if there is, you know, it's basically demons versus humans, and Rosalia right now is like human place, but they're trying to do, you know, coalition, trying to get other people, but. We're trying to also do it fast and steal the credit before the actual alliance goes through. So our path forward in trying to get the humans to sympathize with us and maybe make Rosalia to be able to be the bad guys is he will figure out a way to let other people know that they're doing underhanded shit like that. I don't know, but that's basically the plot of what's going on right now, right? The humans are trying to all unite, but one side of the humans is trying to get on early and trying to fuck the rest over. Nah, you can wait. Goodbye. Yeah, and we control you, buddy, as we took it last night, last episode. Yep, yep. Oh, hello, Mao. Is this the Mao? Wait a minute. This is the Mao. What? Ike? Oh, oh, okay, let's go. This is the Demon Lord, right? Am I crazy? Is there a separate demon that looks like the Demon Lord? This is a Demon Lord, right? No, not the Mao. Different, different, different. They, I, I just saw pink hair girl and demon. It's like, what the fuck? No, no, no. I'm like, why would you be acting like this as a Demon Lord? But okay, separate girl, separate girl. Okay. I love how, like... Whenever he wears the mask, he turns into CGI mode. Does Overlord do this shit too? Like, they're, like, I've noticed, like, basically the modern anime is whenever there's background characters or different assets that's not, impo that's not important, use CGI. Don't waste resources, just min-max, right? But the mask right now here, every time he puts on the mask, it's also CGI. So imagine an Overlord, the skeleton guy, every time he's around, it's all CGI. But people would go fucking crazy. Oh, I'll show you. This part's drawn in, actually. No CGI there. So, rivalry between these two over our main character? True! You called her ugly, how could she seduce? I love Sati, man. She doesn't back down. She just. Always, even against the scammer, she was calling him out, man. I love her. Biggie.
more NPC CGI nights, okay. I don't know why, but this is reminding me of Blue Archive and the mob girls, right? With the simple halo and they never show their eyes, right? It's just so simple. You just copy paste, never show the hair, never show the um, eyes. That way you can copy paste each, you know, character just duplicated, you know? It's, it's smart to like save resources and save time, but... And again, like does this hinder my experience watching the anime? I don't think so. It's just funny to call out random CGI whenever, you know, they're trying to just copy paste and min max. It's like, all right, I get it. Like, you're trying to save money, but it's just funny. As long as the important shit is not CGI, it's not a big deal. Siege on Ivaris. That's right, our skeleton CGI knights versus your CGI knights. Let's go. <laughs> we got goblins. Oh my goodness. We got big boys here already. That wasn't even close. Where do we all come from? And this soundtrack right now, again, so hype because this is the guy, I forgot his name, but kind of like um, did apprenticeship with Hiroki Sauna. So another anime where quote unquote shitty anime gets saved by like good soundtrack. Who knows? Let's see most of more of it. <laughs> Let me glaze you more, bro. Come on. Oh, Ike is dead! Ike is dead! How could this be? <laughs> not, not. Are you serious? One single arrow? One random arrow? Nah, it's not. It's not. I'm surprised it actually hit him and just did damage, though. Like, he's the strongest mage. How could he die here? It makes no sense. True. You do not attack first. You're gonna blame it on their fucking traps? What? Jail her? What a dumbass. You. You should take responsibility for your own actions. You sent them over. Who made the decision? Remove this guy, bro. This is so dumb. We should remove this dude. What do you mean? Take your own accountability. Okay, Ike is uh not dead. Wonder who shot the arrow though. The maid obviously Sati healed us, right? What the? That's her. That, that that's her senpai. Why is she here? Did she heal us? Is she the one that healed us up? Why, why is she in the bed right now? Hello? Did you heal us? I thought Sati would have. <laughs> the subs. <laughs> the subs. <laughs> and you fondled me so hard. The most shameless fan service out of nowhere for no reason other than sex sales. All right. Can we get a replay for that scene? それで。取らんのか。矢が当たったお前を笑わが直してやったのじゃ。うん。誰かいないか。誰か。Like Betrayal, maybe? No, no betrayal from our side. Oh, that's kind of cool. The mask also like darkens his neck. His skin color changes as he puts the mask on. Huh. Yeah. And he gets like his hand changes too. Okay, I, I didn't realize that. That's cool. It's just wait till she knows what Ike is. That Ike is a human. Would she still see Ike like that? So again, this prejudice, this racism, it only comes from a place of ignorance. Because like you are glazing a human right now that you have no idea about. <laughs> I genuinely side with Sati more than the succubus girl. I don't know. I I I thoroughly enjoy like Sati's whole personality, the whole package, man.
What? Oh, the pig did. Pig MVP. Based piggy. Jesus! Is this name actually Mr. Ugly? No shot. No, you're not that ugly. Thanks. So like, you know, I'm still ugly, but I'm not that ugly. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm called you're, Mr. You're not that ugly. then. それより次郎。一つ調べてほしいことがある。はあ。何でしょうか。その団長が今どこにいるかが知りたい。オッケー。うん。ナド。You Who's with us right now? Is that the mage? No, it's Succubus. Lilith. Okay. Now I know her name. <laughs> I feel like Lilith is just like level one Coomer B, where it's just like she's just being horny and down bad. And yeah, I can see the appeal, right? I, I can see the appeal, but like, do you guys like Lilith more than Sati? I feel like Sati has more personality. Lilith just shows up and is just horny for no reason. Sati is like a airhead, clumsy girl who's also sassy and stands up for herself and knows Ike's secret. I feel like Lilith is just, I don't know, it's just, I, I see the booba. You know, I, I see the booba, but it's like, eh, eh. <laughs> We need to give Lilith more time to cook, I think. It's looking like the next half of the episode is going to be focused around, you know, Ike and Lilith. So maybe she pops off, who knows? <laughs> okay, we're letting her cook, and now we're getting to know that she doesn't follow orders, she just does whatever the fuck she wants. Kind of funny, makes me like her more. Immediately just body the guards, let's go in. She did deal with them quietly, they didn't die, you know? <laughs> It's, it's working, right? We're trying to sneak, but like, if we take them out quietly one by one, it's kind of the same thing, so it's kind of working. Oh. Oh, we gotta take him out now. Okay. Don't kill him, these poor guys. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Technical issues. I gotta, I gotta switch out. I gotta switch the headset. But like Lilith right now, all these different scenes. I mean, what has she really done? She just fucking shit up. But I, it does add more character than just being down bad of like a girl that just like brute forces it and just like beats the shit out of people and just like, oh yeah, I'm still, you know, following the rules. It's still fine. <laughs> Alistair, where is she locked up? Is she gonna be tied up? Wonder what Alistair is gonna be looking like when we enter. Is she gonna be chained up? Like, so an all booba and everything? I don't know. I would expect it if they're gonna do shameless fan service with her. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> the fuck? That must be the girl. That knife actually. That knife was actually in the intermission scene today. The white short knife with the golden tips. That was actually in the intermission scene. This is not Sati though, right? No. Is this the girl that also shot the arrow at us? Maybe one of like Alistair's like most um I don't know devout followers. <laughs> Smack a bitch. Have we? Mazoku got none of Yoda. Tots, Kakuni Stai Kotonga Adibus. Then kind of sent on I was the assassin. Anotoki. Orenia Hana. I don't think so. But what if the assassin was sent by the demon side? 
Now, that would be interesting, right? Like, instead of it being from the human side, like, one of our own, the demons are realizing that Ike, you know, this guy sucks. He, I don't think he's actually a demon like material. They're trying to assassinate him. That would be an interesting twist. Arriva. No. no. Human. Twenty-one forty-seven. Twenty-one forty-seven. Twenty-one forty-seven. Twenty-one forty-seven. Twenty-one forty-seven. I think that's her. We don't really get to see Alistair's face much, right? No, it's just very hidden. We don't see her eyes, but we see her hair. It's a similar style. She got the front bangs as well. I think that's her, bro. That that twenty twenty-one forty-seven. Twenty-one. That's her. I mean, we haven't seen her eyes yet, but I feel like this is a her, unless it's like her fucking sister or something. Like, the side of the hair, like, it resembles, it matches, right? Okay. <laughs> She's gonna find the secret out? I mean, okay. <laughs> when you're close up, this is a little bit um uh, inconsistent. Sometimes when he like they zoom in, they can see the the eyes, the human eyes underneath. But sometimes like it's it doesn't show, right? So it's just funny that like if you actually get close enough, you can see like human eyes behind a mask, and they'd be like, well, no shit, you're not a fucking demon, you know? Like it's very inconsistent. Sometimes they don't have this. Sometimes it actually does show the human eyes. I whatever. And again, the book, right? And someone reads it every time it's a passage of the book. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is today's episode of The Strongest Mage, where the strongest mage got assassinated almost by a simple arrow. I thought he would have, like, projectile resistance, some kind of armor, barrier. Maybe I'm too used to bullshit isekai characters having these powers, so Ike is more realistic. The arrow, who could it come from? Mm, the standard reasoning would be, you know, like, the human side. They're trying to assassinate the demons, right? That makes sense, but, like... A really spicy conspiracy theory is like the demons try to do that on ourselves. And which demon hates Ike right now? I would have to go back to episode one to really think about it, but that would be pretty interesting. So right now, uh, the human size, they're kind of fucking shit up. They're like doing like a unification of different alliances. But at the same time, like that one faction, Rosaria or something, they are trying to get a quick one over other human kingdoms before the whole unification can go in so they can, you know, kind of uh, take all the credits. The main dude that's ordering people around is absolutely incompetent and stupid, so no doubt he's going to be the downfall of this. So eventually, somehow, it's going to end with the demons looking good, Ike looking good, and Alistair, she's already thinking about like, yo, you seem too nice. Are you a human? What's going on? And that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.